right here and we finally have the September box I believe the crate number 30 and this I believe is uh man what was the theme awards something or other but uh, this is the, the sticker that they used so let's get open it and show you so I'm just gonna see Currently, I'm using the step stool. Let's see. Um, yes, because my desk is currently still full. I need to clean my desk again. <laughs> well, no, I'm really sniffly down here because I just cleaned some of my room and, well, dust is still everywhere. So, let's see what's inside. Ooh, okay, so the, uh, the back of the box is pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so let's see, we got Hogwarts a Badger acceptance letter, I guess. Raven Club, but that looks like a raven, not an eagle, but there we go. And then we got Salazar Slytherin's Locket. Have the Hufflepuff's Cup. Gryffindor. Slytherin. Um, that's it, isn't it? That's all the stuff that's on the back. Okay, so. I'd be more surprised if I don't like just basically show you everything and get going. With it. Okay, so what is that? Is that a tea strainer? Ah. <laughs> I say what is that, and it actually says the words right on the top. It is a Hogwarts house tea infuser. Huh. Well, I don't personally. Drink tea? Mm, ages 15 and up. Hmm. Uh, we create... Uh, yes, I don't actually drink tea, so... I mean, it's a good kitchen item, you could say. Well, you know, tea item, but, um... I do not drink tea, so... I'll put this on eBay. Uh, next thing that's up top here, let's see, what is this? Ooh, page clips. So bookmarks, in other words, but it's those thin metallic bookmarky things. That's cool. I can always can use a bookmark, and we've got a set of three here. Snake. Um, House Point Hourglass. I mean, you know, thing. It is not a glass in the game. Uh, Hogwarts Cup. So I'll be keeping that. Uh, there is a Slytherin Hogwarts beanie. It's very nicely uh, embroidered. I just cleaned out my dresser and put my beanies in the, uh, only had two, in the, uh, charity shop bag. Um, so I don't really wear beanies, to be honest. But, well, um, well, really dusty today. Okay, um, I don't know, should I keep it or should I sell it? Because I technically do not have any beanies. But I'm told I should at least have one item of everything in my dresser. So I might keep it. I mean, it goes well with my Slytherin scarf, so... I don't know. Okay. Ooh, we've got a mug warmer. Okay. Oh, it's one of those 
thing. That's what it means by mobile in there, right? I get it. <laughs> Here it is. There's the USB. Like if you want to keep your tea hot, tea, tea or coffee, or if you want to keep your soup warm, that'd be a good item for that, actually. So I think I shall actually keep that. You never know. Always use it. See, so yeah, that's that's good actually. Yes, I shall keep that. <laughs> Let me just move these over. So that you can see everything so on. Okay. Uh huh. So this is what was displayed on. The website. Wait, was it? No, I'm thinking of a different thing of a different time, right? So here is another Slytherin item that says Pride on it. Um, I won't open it right now. It's vacuum sealed, and I need um, <laughs> to keep it sealed right now because I need space. So it is. Oh, Hogwarts House blanket. Um. Keep warm and cozy with this blanket featuring your house mascot. I mean, I could put it on my bed. Well, when I get my new bed. Please excuse all the sniffles. <laughs> um, this Hogwarts house pom pom beanie. Keep your house pride on your head. Hogwarts tea infuser. Brew up an enchanting elixir with this tea infuser. Um, Hogwarts House Magnetic Bookmark Set. No loser place in a history of magic again. Hogwarts USB Mug Warmer. Keep your favorite beverage warm just like magic. And number six is the pin. They really uh, cut down in size. It's just one little page instead of a, a folded page. Okay, so here is the next. It's got silver foiling. And ta! Ooh, that's a Quidditch pitch. And it says Magical Places Quidditch pitch. Interesting. And it actually has all the uh, stands in their own corresponding house colors as well, if you can see it properly. That's pretty neat. It's another good addition to my Magical Places pins that I've got. So let's just place it down there. I'll just place this right here. Well, place it right there. So you can see. <laughs> you know what? I think the only thing I'm really giving selling is uh, the tea strainer infuser. <laughs> Actually, you can never go wrong with another blanket. So I think, yeah, I'm, I think the tea and strainer thing is, fuser and strainer or whatever, um, is the only thing that I'm selling. For some reason I expect it to have something else, but I don't know, that's uh, six items. I mean, why did I count? I mean, it's on the list here. Hogwarts Quidditch Pit. Return to the game with the next pin in our Magical Places series. So there's all the stuff. This is what the blanket looks like. I don't know if I'm really that keen on the uh, blanket style. I mean, it's a snake. Actually, it doesn't look too bad when I look up close. 
It's one of those. It's not really a full, full, full blanket. I think. Um, I think it's similar to the other. But I think my Slytherin throw blanket I bought from Primark was bigger than that one. I think. I'm not sure actually. I'll we'll have to open it sometime and have a look see. But it's got a snake on it, Slytherin, Ambition, Cunning, and Pride. Then it also has some like, I think, reference to the uh, chapter stars or something. Because it's got Philosopher's Stone, I think it's Aragog or something, maybe. Slytherin Locket, Sorting Hat, Diary with a basket thing in it. A potion or two. Is that a spider? Slytherin Chai and the um. It might be the Resurrection Stone. I'm not sure. Hmm. Actually, it might be. Because I got on the other ones. Let's see. Can't really see though. Um, like for instance, on the ba on the uh, badger one, Hufflepuff, patience, dedication, loyalty, and it's got to house tie, pestle and mortar, I think, mandrake, Hufflepuff's cup, and on the Gryffindor one, we got Gryffindor courage, determination, bravery. We got the snitch, Gryffindor sword, flying key, Gryffindor tie. Um. Well, of the stars. I'm not really sure what this other thing. I mean, it could be a star. I'm not sure. Um, then on the Ravenclaw one, you got Ravenclaw wisdom, learning, and wit. I just got the Ravenclaw diadem, house tie, and the prophecy orb. So yeah. So for the uh, bookmarks, all of them have the Hogwarts the uh, H1, and each of them have their own house animal and the house point hourglass thing. Though by the looks of it, when you line them all up together, Hufflepuff is fourth, Ravenclaw's third, and I think it's third in order. Then it's Slytherin 2nd and Gryffindor 1st. See? Anyway, these are close up then I guess you can see for yourself. Taste confusers. And the Mug warmer and Quidditch pin. So I think I have a close up and I will show you this close up too. See, corresponding house colors on the stands. Very lovely, lovely. Alright, then you know, as you, as you saw. Yeah, so, uh, it's very nicely embroidered. I feel like a bit of the W and the A is kind of missing there, though. So I don't know if, it was, if it's just mine or if it's just the way it was made. I don't know. There's not much point fussing about it, really, I don't think. Anyway, yes. Oh yeah, I never actually said it, did I? Theme Hogwarts Alumni. 
I knew it was something like that. I'm pretty sure Hogwarts Alumni theme came up once before, a few years ago. I mean, it's, it is Box 30, so... Yeah. Anyway. Uh, pay a visit to your magical alma mater. Unbox exclusive collectibles and gear featuring your Hogwarts house in this Wizarding World crate. So this is crate 30. I'm still waiting for crate 31, 32, 33. And just recently, I paid for crate number 34. So, it's, it's got a lot of catching up to do. I mean, like, this is crate for September 2021, and it is now April 2022. So, it's, it's still got a bit of a ways of a wait I had. Did that even make sense? Anyway. So... Which one's your favorite? And um, after this video, you'll see the uh, TM user on my eBay because I'll have it scheduled to uh, go live right after this video. So, like, you have a chance to get it if you want it. Currently, I'm only selling to uh, UK only, um, but I um, just message me if you really want it and you're not in the UK, and I'll see what I can do. I'll have to, uh, I don't know, sell it to you separately on Instagram or something. Like, you know, for like just a PayPal invoice transaction or something like that. Um, I'll have to look up what it's going for, and I'll do, like, what? I'll go buy from what it's sold for and whatever. I'll do a best buy option, and, you know, stuff like that. I do have previous... Wizarding World create stuff up on my eBay as well if you're interested, like the Hagrid Happy Birthday notepad or some previous t-shirts as well. I went through my uh, t-shirt collection and I'm going to be putting up another two or three uh, from past Wizarding World crates, like the Deathly Hollows t-shirt. Um, and I think another Harry Potter, oh yes, the uh, Harry Potter Quidditch number 7 Slytherin one as well. So basically they're all, you know, brand new. I may have only tried at least one of them on once to try it on, you know, over another shirt, obviously. But, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So, thank you for watching. Like, like more. Bring that on for locations. Don't forget to check out some other eBay stuff. <laughs> Over and out.